Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Excel 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the auto calculate area to display statistics. Let's get started. So you'll see here that I have an Excel spreadsheet and I'm going to show you how to auto display statistics. Um, I do this every semester with my students in class and I tell them, okay, well, let's look at this high number here and let's add all these up and let's do it in our head real quick. All right, let me look at these. All right, I'm going to say this is 881 and 42 cents. And then I go right over here, I auto sum it, and there we go. Okay, 881.42. So I tell my students that I'm really, really good at math and I can automatically do this in my head. And then they say, oh, well, you probably did looked at these numbers beforehand, so uh, you knew it automatically. And then I say, all right, well, let's just give me some random numbers. I'm just going to type some in here. Okay, there we go. I'll do this in my head now. Uh, 4,374 and 11 cents. Okay, and I do that, and there we go, I get the answer. So everything looks like I am a math genius, but actually I am not. The way that I'm doing this is I'm highlighting this section, and then I quickly look right down here on my status bar to see what the sum is. Okay, and I can see that one is 866.94. It tricks my students every year, they like the joke, it's good. But anyway, the statistics area right down here is actually pretty helpful, and it's on your status bar, and by default it automatically contains an average Average, which will give you the average of any selected numbers, the count of any selected numbers, and also the sum of any selected numbers. But you could actually add or remove uh, different statistics from this area and completely customize your um, status bar right down here based off of those statistics. So if you right click in, in the status bar right down here, you'll see that certain statistics are available for you to add to this area and they're all right here. So I already have average added. I could tell because there's a check mark. I could also see the count and the sum because those are the ones with the check marks. But if I also wanted to know, hey, what's the minimum and maximum, which are also pretty useful numbers, I could just click on minimum and click on maximum. And I can see right down here, I have the min right there of 40.81 and the max of 51.2. So sometimes if I don't want to create an entire formula dedicated to um, uh, something or a, a range of cells, or if I don't want to actually um, have it take up space on my spreadsheet, let's say I'm just looking at maybe the highs of the first uh, five cells here, then I could see, oh, there's my maximum right there, 51.6, and an average of 49.29. So the status bar is actually uh, a very useful tool if you customize it. And if I right click here, I could see that I could also remove the minimum and maximum by clicking on them again. And so that will actually remove them so that they're no longer down here. So you could actually customize those any way that you like. And this right down here is called the auto calculate area within Excel. So hopefully this video has taught you a little bit more about how to use the auto calculate area within your status bar to find the minimum, maximum, average, count, and sum. If this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to respond to you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.